prophetic dream warning the world is ending I don't want people to be in fear, okay? Just like when I shared my dream about the zombie apocalypse. Um, I haven't shared it on TikTok, but it is on my YouTube. And it was quite trending. And I saw the comments. A lot of people were in fear. Some of them were saying that's not true. I'm sure some people are going to be like, mm, but if uh, dreams don't mean anything, so we're not going to take you serious. Um, but I feel like this is so serious, my beloved. It really shook my spirit. Um, I am a dreamer, and I know that not all dreams are prophetic. Some are subconscious, okay? Some are infiltrated dreams as well. Um, you must use discernment. Um, some are, um, you know, just for your own personal message. And some are prophetic. Some are actually are events to come and this i feel like is definitely an event to come my beloved um i feel like it's not might not be happening necessarily now but very soon within the next six to twelve months um we have to prepare for this okay um i don't know where this connects kind of to this message about people have been getting about the regathering of the 12 scattered tribes um I recently found out that I am one of the tribes. Um, I don't know where it's linked to that. Uh, I'm gonna just have to keep praying and ask for discernment to come into me and also just any other messages. But I really feel like it's just the chosen ones. Okay, you know whether you're chosen. I'm not here to tell people that they're chosen or not. It's a really an internal thing. Um, and if this message resonates to you, then it will. Um, you know, if you feel like you're chosen, if you feel like you are at an eve of the message, um, I just advise you to also pray. Take take this vision, take this dream to the Most High. Pray about it and um, ask for revelations. You know, what what exactly does it mean? You know, how are we going to evacuate? Where is the Garden of Eden? People say it's in South Africa. I definitely believe that, and I feel like it's in the Eastern Cape, um, in a region that I have been to, um, Port St. John's. It is so amazing. It's a mesmerizing place, and I feel like there's a portal there. Um, yes, I don't want to speak too much about that, but when I went there, I had this deep connection to my ancestral guides. I was by the river there, and I don't know whether that's the river that like connects to Nile, or I, I don't know what's very sacred about that river, but the river there in Port St. John's is very sacred. Um, I had an intense spiritual uh, connection to one of my guardians there um, that, you know, really was out of this world. And I went there on my birthday about two years ago. That's the last time I've actually been there. And I always told myself that I'm going to go back. And I think maybe it's the time. But I'm not going to obviously take this trip on my own. I'm going to just pray for confirmation. And hey, I'm not saying that really it is Port St. John's. I think there is also another content creator that I saw on TikTok. Um, although I don't fully agree with his message. Because he really is in the complex of there's a messiah to come save us. And still really is like trying to push patriarchy and and um christianity but in a coated in a different color so i don't fully agree with his messages um but i do understand that he's correct about this holy land being in southern africa but other stuff that he's speaking about are not it okay everyone knows that the bible is actually made a matriarchal book um so if he's not even mentioning the goddess or the mother and then he's speaking about the original bible it's, it's not the original bible it's not it's not so but he was correct about that i really believe that um what st john's is a very holy land um although right now it's like infiltrated obviously like if you go there it's like <laughs> very scary in some places but it's a very sacred and holy land my beloved so i think we're being called back uh, I will keep you guys posted, okay, on on this um, topic, and uh, because I feel like there are a lot of people that are connected to this message. Um, so I love you. I'll see you in the videos to come. Stay blessed, healthy. Peace.